Welcome to the Slow Home Studio. Today we're going to be looking at three innovative ways to detail a bookcase. We're going to be using one of our own projects from past. It's a standalone library that uh, connects into the house this way. And really what we want to talk about is this part of the house. Yeah, and this was a very interesting bookcase detail because you'll notice in the plan that it actually sticks out past the line of the house 12 inches. And the reason why we did that is because we wanted to set the windows on top of the front face of the bookcase. And that's interesting because typically bookcases have a top on them yep. and it acts as a little shelf and we didn't want that detail. We actually wanted the bookcase to be set into the wall and the windows to be flush with the face of it. And even if you don't want to go to the trouble of offsetting the bookcase, I think that one of the other things that you can take away from this project is the location of the window. By putting the windows up high in a clear story situation, you leave all of the accessible part of the wall open for books while still allowing lots of, lots of natural light to come in. Yes, and the second detail uh, that we used in this library, this is the other wall looking on the other side, is we put in a piece of drywall uh, into the center of the bookcase because the client actually had some old maps that he wanted to display. So it's a nice way of uh, making a display space. But the interesting thing about this is this is actually a cost-effective way to build a large bookcase because this is a huge 10-foot high piece of millwork. And by taking a large section of it out and just putting that in drywall, you've significantly reduced the cost of the bookcase. Correct. You've actually got one small bookcase there, one small bookcase unit there, something across the bottom, and something across the top. But that, of course, that's not how it reads. It reads as one unit with a piece inserted. One of the other pieces that we did was we wanted to add some display space. And so again, this is a very simple thing to do. You've got your line of bookcase shelves, and we just simply had the mill worker insert a box that protruded out slightly, had a light in it, and it scaled for some smaller pieces of art that our client had. And it's a way of being able to integrate multiple scales of objects into a bookcase. The thing that's also nice about that is it interrupts the sort of pattern of the books by having a few things in at night, provides a really nice lighting detail. So remember, there's lots of things that you can do when you're designing a bookcase. All it takes is a little care and thought. See you next time.